Hello, Hofstra fans, and welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report with the head coach of Hofstra Wrestling, Dennis Papadatos. Morning, coach. How's it going today? Good morning, man. Getting ready for a week of finals and practice. That's good to hear. It's good to hear. Yeah, finals week for the, stu- for the students, uh, normal week for, for uh, staffers like us. Looking, can't yeah. wait. Wait. <laughs> uh, Hofstra is coming off an unfortunate loss against Brown last Thursday, 20-15, to 15, uh, up in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, wins by Charles Small, Trey Rogers, Zach Knight and Ward, and Justin Moyle. Uh, what can you say about the team uh, against the Bears? Um, I mean, first off, I want to give um, credit to Brown. They, they wanted to win. They thought they could win. They expected to win, and they did what they needed to do. Um, there, there was there was seven matches, the seven before, you know, there was matches they didn't – I don't think they thought they could win, and they didn't. And, you know, there was a couple of matches they thought they were favored in, and they, you know, kind of pulled those out. And I I never thought in a million years they can win 57, 65, and 74 against us. Um, at the very least, I thought on a really, really bad day we'll lose two. Most likely, maybe we lose one. And very likely, we were going to win all three. You know what I mean? And we lost all three. And, you know, it cost us the duel. And, um, you know, so, you know, kudos to them because they – no bad calls, you know, the, the, the officiating was top notch. Um, there was just some situations they were more ready to go and, and dealt with some adversity better and, and give them credit. But, um, and I say, I say, but not to take credit away from them, but we gave the match away, right? Like we had it, we should, we, all we had to do is do what we needed to do and we, and we would have won and we got to make those adjustments. Some guys, uh, some guys got to be more disciplined with their weight and it caught up to them and it caught up to us because of it. Um, and we made a couple of mistakes and, you know, probably got a little ahead of her. Some guys probably get a little ahead of themselves and then we make some mistakes and you make, you know, you don't make weight right. And then you just kind of get too excited over the small break after and get ready for finals and um, perfect storm for Brown to take it to us. And they did. So, and they're in their home gym. So, um, you know, disappointed, I'm disappointed, um, frustrated, uh, Hopefully it's it's a hopefully it's a lesson. You know what I mean? We'll we'll find out soon. So uh, hopefully it's a lesson. So de- definitely definitely a letdown. But and no by no means do I want to take anything away from Brown because they came out to get it and they got it right. Um, I just feel like if we came out to get it too, it wouldn't matter if they came out to got it. We would we would have won. But yeah, so that that part's on us. So but they get uh, total credit, vastly improved, and did what they needed to do to win. You know, finals week is this week. Uh, no competition uh, during the regular week, and then ne- uh, next, starting on the weekend, you guys are going to be heading down to Florida uh, for the Journeyman Collegiate Wrestling Duels against right. some, some of the best teams in the country. I just want right. to, before we, you know, get into the Hofstra matches, I kind of just want to go into who all is going to be there in addition to Hofstra. Iowa, yeah. one number one in the country. Penn State, number two in the country. Virginia Tech. Arizona State, they're both in the top 10. Missouri is going to be in there as well. NC State, Binghamton, Lehigh, Cornell, and Northern Iowa. That is about as stacked of a competition team-wise, I think, as you could ask for. You know, going into this, um, how did – to talk about a little bit, you know, how Hofstra was able to, to get into this competition and what it means to you seeing, seeing your guys go against some of the best in the country. Uh, you know, it started as they wanted to make it a national duels, but it didn't fully work out because Iowa and Penn State already wrestled each other. And, you know, they wanted to make sure they weren't wrestling there. And Oklahoma State goes to Reno and they didn't want to get out of Reno. So they, they wanted to get the best teams they could, but also have all the conference represented and also, you know, spread it out a little bit. So, um, I, you know, thank, you know, Iowa and Penn State are in. And so is NC State is also top five and, and believe it as a bunch of good teams I wanted to be in. But the Big Ten so good, they just they didn't want it to be all Big Ten because then Iowa and those teams don't want to wrestle each other again. So we had to have a, a blend. We had a very good EIWA tournament last year and the year before, and we started the season with eight ranked guys, and you know we got invited. Um, you know, a, a little bit of a down is is we don't have the the starting lineup that we were expecting to have a year ago with some things out. So we're trying to you know make do, but you know we got invited for who we are and, and what we were the last two years. Um, to go compete with, with those teams. And, and I put it on the schedule for, you know, there are a lot of reasons. There's, there's you know, profit sharing options there, being involved over there, let, you know, people seeing our logo and the chance of running into high RPI guys, right? So, you know, we go to Midlands, we go to Vegas, um, you know, you're likely going to run into an RPI guy, but 
you might not, you may get upset or you, you, you know, wrestle somebody, you make the quarters and now we're, you know, we're running, you're guaranteed to wrestle the RPI guy because we're scheduled with Arizona state and Virginia tech right off the bat. And I believe both of them have older 10 guys ranked. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, so, um, you were guaranteed it. There's no, maybe we'll run into him here. Hopefully we run into him here. We're going to run into him, no doubt. So that's why we did it to make sure our guys that are wrestling at that level, uh, um, you know, get those matches and maybe, you know, the, the, the program had, has to take a little backseat to the importance of the guys running into those individual matches. And that's why we're, that's why we're still going. It, I, I just can't get over, you know, the amount of teams that are going to be in the, in this one arena for this due date event. Right. And, you know, it's like you said, they're going to run into these guys eventually might as well get it done now and just, you know, get, get their, get their licks in on, on some of those, some of those really, really good guys. Cause I know Arizona state, one of your, one of your opponents, your second opponent on the second day, you know, Trey wrestled against Cordell Norfleet at the NCAA championships last year and wasn't, you know, didn't, didn't, didn't the result didn't go his way, but it's, you know, this is a nice little rematch for, for Trey, just in, as, as an example of some of the guys that, you know, we're going to be wrestling against. There's no doubt. I bet you if you really made me guess out of the 80 All-Americans that will be at the end of the year, there's a good chance 35 of them will be somewhere represented on these teams that are here. You know probably, I mean? uh, probably. Yeah, probably five of the national champs. You know? <laughs> so it is, uh, it is, it's as packed and loaded of a weekend of high quality wrestling um, as can possibly be. And, you know, we're one of the 12 teams that are involved in it. So we're, uh, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to get ready and we're going to go. So now we got uh, your first opponent on Monday, Virginia Tech. Uh, the Hokies, you know, they're they're a top ten team. They're one of the top teams in the ACC. And then uh, the second team following that one will be Arizona State, another top ten team. Sun Devils, they're really strong out in the Pac-12. They both teams have, you know, like you said, ranked guys all over the roster. Uh, what can you say, you know, about the Hokies and the Sun Devils going into going into this this competition? It's just you know, top end. Top and athletic ACC, you know, Pac-12, you know, Power Five conferences that have a lot of resources. You know, they they have the right kids. They get, the, you know, they have the right recruiting, and then they got the right coaching. And and both those places have made a turnaround. Um, and it's been a while. Like Virginia Tech made a turnaround, you know, probably eight, ten years ago, and they've been, you know, competing for a team for a team trophy at the, you know, they're they're right there where, um, you know, they're they they're they're unbelievable so they're a good team so um you know same thing with arizona state kind of turned around six seven years ago and they haven't looked back i mean a lot of some of the rankings have both them both ranked in the top five so they're kind of right there you know it's three through eight you know what i mean it's kind of where they are depending on who thinks what of them so um they're both whoever they're going to put out there even if they put a backup in those are the kind of places where their backups are very very good and that's just, uh, you know, uh, so there's no, we're going to have 20 solid, important matchups on day one. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, you know, it's a lot like a Rutgers situation, a Wisconsin situation where yes. even if their starter's not going, the backup is just as good. And then um, Tuesday, you will, depending on how Hofstra does, they will right. run one of Penn State, Cornell, or Northern Iowa. Right. Time hasn't been decided yet. Right. But, you know, looking, how do you prepare uh, for a team match with on the second day where you may not know who you're going to be wrestling with? Um, I mean, everyone's doing the same thing. They compare for the first and they quickly prepare after the, the night just to see, just to do a quick scout of who they're going to wrestle next. So you try not to worry about that. You got, you got a task at hand. You know, there's nowhere to run. We're going to have three very, very, very good teams, no matter who we wrestle. Absolutely. And, you know, and you said at the beginning of the year, you know, you put this on the on the schedule to challenge the guys and what better challenge than, you know, got kids from Arizona State, Virginia Tech and maybe and two and three, potentially three other nationally yeah. top 25 teams. Right. Uh, this match, this match and every match uh, at the journeyman collegiate wrestling results will be available on Rockfin, R-O-K-F-I-N. Uh, it will need a subscription and a pay-per-view fee to view. Uh, to click on that link, visit the, the wrestling schedule page on GoHawks.com. For head coach Dennis Papadatos, I'm Nick Capitos. And thank you for joining us for this week's WB Mason Coaches Report.